So I'm currently at the hospital. I had to give a urine sample. Gross. I've been given a wristband and I'm waiting for my operation. I'm scared and I'm tired. <laughs> Send help. So here I am in these beautiful clothes that they give you before surgery. Look at those sexy socks we love an icon so let us begin our journey first of all i don't remember very much but i recall being wheeled into the room where i got the anesthetic i was talking to these women one minute about animals and whatnot and the next thing i know i wake up in a room and i do not know where i am i am confused i am lost i have no idea the next thing I know, there is a woman waving at me through the glass, who I then presumed was my mother. However, I am a blind bitch, so I could not tell, and I had to use all of my strength to find my glasses, just to find out it was in fact my mother. Anyway, after what felt like the best sleep ever, the staff gave me a gorgeous feast of some water toast and jam and orange squash because hashtag veganism of the fattest nap yet again afterwards until i woke up and i had to pee immediately but after that they were happy enough to discharge me okay so i'm home and i feel sick as hell this from the cannula and I feel like I'm dying. I was fine before but now I'm like on the verge of passing out. My eyes are like and I feel so sick but the surgery went super well. I have officially been diagnosed with endometriosis so now we know what's wrong and so we got that taken away and got a coil put in and now I just need a long ass rest. Hey, so I'm a mess but I'm not feeling that bad at the same time. My throat's a little sore as well from the tube because they put a tube down your throat when you go under anaesthetic. And I want to show you guys my um, where they cut me. Just yeah. So I've got one there. Okay, so I thought that I would explain the procedure a little bit and what happened. So, first of all, they checked for the endometriosis. It was a keyhole surgery. So they checked for that and because they found it, they removed it. And then they also inserted a coil to help as well. And this should hopefully help with all of the pain and stuff and yeah and that's pretty much it pretty simple and i had a catheter and like stickers and stuff on me and a lot of tests and whatnot and it took so many years to diagnose not gonna lie which isn't the best but now that it is i'm very happy because now I know what the issue is and it can be solved, which hopefully it has. 
So I'm just in recovery now. And yeah. Also, I just want to say a massive thank you to the staff at the hospital. They were so, so amazing, the entire team. So lovely and so incredible and friendly and helpful. It was really just really, really incredible. And I'm very, very grateful. And during my recovery, I'm going to be listening to Thank You Next on repeat. God bless. Yeah, right now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a bit of pain because they put gas into your stomach as well, so... And apparently it travels up for some reason, so I'm in pain in, like, my ribs and my shoulder. Which is normal, but weird to me, to be honest, but whatever. And I have to wear the ugly ass socks from earlier for, like, the next 24 or 48 hours or something, so... Love that. And keep the dressing on as well, so... Sometimes. Okay, hi. So, a quick little update. Wow, well, my hair is a mess this morning. But, trying to sleep last night was so, so difficult. I could not get comfy at all. I have three pillows behind my head and one next to me and my penguin which is a heating pad, which I haven't actually heated up, but it's got lavender in it, so it's kind of, like, calming, so I've got that as well. But it was just so difficult to sleep because I am really sore in my stomach area, and just getting comfortable was not easy at all. I normally sleep on my side, and I had to, like, sleep on my back because I cannot be in any other position without, like immense pain so that's fun but they did say that was normal and that that is how I would feel just very sore and tender but apart from that I'm doing really well so that's good and I think for the next like one to two weeks I'll be in like this kind of recovery and then apparently it takes I can't remember if it was six weeks or six months that it will take for it to possibly fully work but then it'll be all good so that's really exciting I'm really happy about that so I just thought I'd give you a quick morning after update and I'll probably end this here and I might do an update video at some point if anyone wants that because at the moment I think this is just going to be the same thing for the next however long and that's pretty much it so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and if you have any tips comment them below if you are experiencing the same thing tell me your story you know let me know we can be in this together and yeah so thank you <coughs> thank you guys for watching i love you all so much thank you everyone that's given me support i really appreciate it lots of love bye